I'm going to talk about the burden of epilepsy, uh, about the impact of psychiatric morbidity that is very important problem. The burden of epilepsy includes underreported injuries due to seizures, psychopathology, cognitive impairments, and the social consequences of epilepsy, among others. The psychiatric disorders in epilepsy can be classified, as you can see in the picture, as personality disorders, disorders of the control of impulse, dissociative, psychotic, affective disorders that are the main ones. In this uh, survey that uh, included many, many people uh, with epilepsy, we can see in the blue bar that the psychopathology is more frequent in persons with epilepsy than in persons that don't have epilepsy. Especially depression is the main complication in the psychiatric field that we can find in epileptic patients. And we can see in the illustration that depression can be associated with seizures before them, after them, or in the interictal period that is the most frequent. The prevalence of depression is very high. It is almost 30% of the population with epilepsy, and it is higher if we compare it with persons with diabetes or asthma. Depression is very important in the prevalence of seizures and it influences very, very bad uh, about the control of seizures because of sleep disorders, because of less, less compliance of IED and because the abuse of drug and alcohol. In a small survey that we made in Mexican patients, in 101 patients, we found that almost 75% of females, persons with epilepsy had anxiety and almost 60% had depression. And a similar percentage for males, we are, were also found. In conclusion, epilepsy constitutes a big burden because of the stigma, social rejection, and the tendency to psychopathology. The psychiatric comorbidity in epilepsy includes personality disorders, anxiety, depression, and psychosis. And the most frequent psychiatric comorbidities are anxiety and depression. Many epidemiological studies demonstrated that the high frequency of the comorbidities affects quality of life, even control of seizures. It is necessary to identify very early the psychopathology that constitutes this important comorbidity in order to treat it and improve the quality of life. 